Where's Bavi? What a beauty! Welcome again to the Echo Backyard Farm. It's been a while since we uploaded a, a video because we have been doing a lot of things and now we're here harvesting baggy beans because we have a client who's ordering baggy beans well they look very good this yeah. time uh, really nice look yes yeah manicured you know that has also much to do with the climate with the climate right now yeah. it's a cool weather here in Silang and you can see the plants, they look very healthy, look at them. Mm -hmm. They look good. So, the reason why these beans are called baggy beans <laughs> is because they grow in a cool climate. Yeah, they, they, they do, yeah. they grow usually in baggy where it's higher yeah. and it's cool. Yeah. So that's why right now they're doing very well here. Yeah. <clears throat> well, when we have these string beans, String beans are very prone to black aphids, as we already know. Yeah. And we plant them best when it is rainy season, and we plant them outside. So the, the aphids are every time taken out by the rain. Mm -hmm. When you have baggy beans at your farm, and you're harvesting it, it's sometimes really cumbersome and irritating. Because yes, it's <laughs> You need to look for the fruits. Yeah, and, and it can be itchy, you know? Yeah, it can be itchy. So, if you have sensitive skin, uh, see to it that you wear long sleeves and don't go against yeah. the leaves because yeah. it, it can be itchy. Itchy, they, yes. They, they like, it's, it's, it's a natural protection, I think, yeah. that they have against uh, yeah, animals or other pests or something. Yes. But anyway, if you follow me, you'll have, see, it, it, there's a lot of foliage, so <laughs> oh, it's really... You don't yeah. see it too well. You really have to look around for yeah. the beans. Yeah. Anyway, so we have here corn. Yeah, corn. When you plant corn at your farm, just make sure that the seeds that you use are not GMOs hmm. or the BT corn hmm. because those are not really good. So yeah. you we need don't. to... Uh, yeah. We don't go with those. Yeah. As much as possible, you use indigenous uh, crops mm. when it comes to corn or have a very good relationship with your seed bank or the persons, the people at the seed bank, so they would be very honest with you and give yeah. you uh, corn or crops or seeds yeah. that are not genetically modified. Yeah. And we have, a good, we have a good supplier here in Silang. Yeah. Now you can mm. trust. Going back to Baguio beans, you can see there's a lot of foliage on the yes. plants. The trick to having a lot of foliage or a lot of branches on a simple vine like the Baguio bean is, you can see here, yes. these are the new shoots that grow, uh -huh. especially when they're still growing up and when they reach a certain height that you that's ideal for you, mm. you snip Snip off, yes. The tip off. So what, yeah. Yeah, so they, they will they will extend laterally. Yeah. What that does is the plant doesn't have a choice anymore but to grow sideways because the tip the, yeah, the it's cut off. growing yeah, it's it's cut off. So mm. by doing that you will have more branches, yeah, you have more leaves, and ergo more. you will have more Meats. flowers and you will have more fruits. All right. Yeah. Those are really good-looking tomatoes. Yeah, th those are salad tomatoes actually. Yeah. And we planted them here. Mm -hmm. You can see they're doing very well. Why did we plant them here? Because you see, this is a little field of bananas. 
and bananas, they, you know, we have a lot of trash from bananas on that, that we put around because once we cut a banana, we let the thing rot beside the trunk. So, so there's a lot of nutrients coming from bananas. No, yep. bananas are known for uh, potassium and phosphor. And that we need in order to have flowering and fruit setting in plants. Mm -hmm. That's why we said, why not plant our tomatoes where our sagging or our, tom our bananas, bananas are. are. Yeah. So you can see it's doing very well. Now, actually, everything is doing well that's planted yes. here so outside. You can see yes. there, fruits. Yes. I'm going to zoom in on that plant. Fruits again. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot and there. Yes. And you can More also here. see... They, yeah. they're a little bit under the bananas. They get enough sunshine, enough light, but not too much also. So not too much that uh, it, it dries out or it... I say this because we are going to an experiment that we are doing. Yeah, we're going to compare it with yeah. an experiment that we have been doing experiment with container farming. Here, We planted tomatoes in a container for container farming. So see, see here? So we, on purpose, put soil that we found around, not, not from our beds where the soil is, is good. Well, let's just say but it's not the rich kind of soil. That we yeah. found uh, on the side somewhere. Yeah, that, that has mean, not been yeah. worked on for yeah. like a decade so or so. We put, we put the soil in it and then we said we have, we made a concoction, a, uh, a concoction of nutrients uh, which include uh, the potassium and phosphor from bananas and uh, nitrogen from uh, uh, Madre Cacao or Cacahuate. Cacahuate. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then uh, we, 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 we made this into a portion and we put every time portion on these plants mm -hmm. to see how they are doing. So they were doing very well the hung, uh, up till they started having fruits. The fruits were doing well in the beginning, but then we saw that they develop no, uh, uh, blossom and rot. Yeah. Why is this? Well, this is very simple. They lack a certain nutrient. So we know that we were expecting that really, but we wanted to, to show, yeah. especially for beginners, <coughs> how this works. Now, what is the nutrient that they lack? They lack calcium. Mm -hmm. Okay. So because banana, uh, tomatoes, also uh, uh, peppers. Yeah. They are sensitive to a deficiency in calcium. So that's why you should keep in time calcium to your plants. What we normally do is we put calcium acetate. acetate. Yeah. But to know, if you want to know how to make calcium you, acetate... You, you go to the first book. <laughs> yeah, you can always yes. buy our materials. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you can also see there how you can make calcium phosphate. Yeah. At least in the, the, the latest, in our latest edition. Now, um, here you can see we are developing uh, the blossom and rot. Mm -hmm. Now, this is already too late to really put calcium acetate. So we, we, we just continue. There are also plants that are doing well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some fruits that are doing There's well. There's a lot of fruits actually yeah. <laughs> on, we on these doing three these, plants but here. You see, you should do that from the beginning. Why? Because calcium is, 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 a, is an element, is a nutrient that the plants cannot absorb very fast. Mm -hmm. It kind of moves slowly. Mm -hmm. You see, even though there might be enough, it, it, it has to, uh, the, the plant should have enough time from the beginning to be able to absorb it. Yeah. Now, what does it do? Calcium helps the plant uh, when, when there's a lot of of fluctuation with with uh, the climate or the climate yeah, yeah. and it's hot it's hot and dry and then wet again and then hot it, this is not good for tomatoes when there's a lot of fluctuation and and the uh, moisture content hmm. of of the medium in which they grow hmm. uh, <clears throat> so that's why try to see to it when you have when you have tomatoes in containers you put calcium acetate from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know how to make it because it's described in the book. And you see to it that your plants, that the soil where your plants are, have enough moisture. Yeah. Because here, our problem with these plants is that they're standing right in the sun during yeah. the day. It's open. Oh yes. But now it's, it's uh, yeah, it, now it's raining. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, of course it's after in it. weeks right of in the sun. sun. Yeah. And once the sun is there, this easily dries up. Mm. Another problem is that the container is black. Mm. And a black color absorbs heat, becomes even hotter, and evaporates more still the moisture in the soil. Yep. See? So if you have a white container, it's better. Yep. And you see to it, it's not, you, if it is in the sun, because tomatoes, they love sun, if it is in the sun, you see to it that there is always enough Water. moisture. Yeah. Okay. So then you will you will be okay. Yeah. So for the new beginner or the, the newbies or yeah. the beginners, <laughs> the <newbies. laughs> you already know the do's and don'ts. So yeah. when you start your very own ecological garden, yes, you won't lose. Uh, you you won't waste resources. Yes. Now you know what to do, especially for those. Who just got our materials? Who just ordered uh, yeah. a few days ago? You can watch this video and learn more. Yes. So you do that. All right. Let's show them the tip rot again. Yes. So that's a common thing yeah. that yes. you will encounter if you have a deficiency. Yeah. Uh, this is described in the second book. Yeah among the deficiencies and uh, yeah yeah actually if you want to have the complete know-how on how to do your ecological farming you need to have the entire package yeah so and you will be good yeah you will be good to go yeah. all right so we're going to give you a short tour of the crops that we have here first stop is the artichoke uh, I guess <laughs> most of you know about these plants because we already shown these or the plants that we have here, the artichokes that we have here for quite some time already because it takes a long time for them to grow. How long does it grow? Two yeah, well, years you up? see the first year they, they develop, yeah. it's only the second year that they would bear the flowers. Yeah. It you takes see? a long time for yeah. them to develop mm. so we have this I think we already have this for there's a second year now yeah second year so we are expecting a flower to come out but anyway we're going to show you what climate does because now it's cool here yeah and uh, after it, the yeah. hot summer it's cool weather yeah. now and uh, you can see the effects of climate on the crop you can see how beefy the artichoke leaves or stems are it's even too big for the plant to carry its own weight so it cracks yeah yeah actually you can uh, get a lot of good things from uh, artichoke you don't need to wait for the flower, flower mm. because it takes a while as we said but you can cut the leaves and make extracts out of it and take it it's good for the, the, for liver. the liver yeah yeah so those are the benefits that you get from artichoke yeah. And if you follow me, we're going to show you one of our prized possessions. We have, yeah. <laughs> we, have been, we have this plant for a long time. It takes a long time for them to, to develop bear fruits. Yeah. yeah. Our habaneros. But you look at them now. What a beauty. And we have a lot. Yeah. And it's, a, it's still different. It's a lot. It's completely different from uh, jalapenos. Yes. Because when we eat habaneros the spice that you get out of them is it's more on the warmth that you feel in your mouth it's not the kind of pepper when you bite on it it gives a bitter taste first then the hotness comes after here the, the habaneros when you eat it it's quite pleasant but I'm not sure if we have the same speed I think we they have different varieties of habaneros but the thing the habaneros that we have here is very pleasant to eat and uh we're really proud of it oh yeah of course yeah. they look yeah. nice hmm? yeah you see they're there also you will have to harvest it yeah we're going to take it out and yeah. beside it are turmeric you can yes. see don't get a for first timers don't get alarmed if your yeah. <laughs> turmeric suddenly becomes like this because yeah. this means that your turmeric is ready to be harvested yeah yeah so the leaves will die off and the turmeric are yeah let me show you here yeah 
going to just pull yeah. this out. Yeah, but you will not be able to pull it out. Yeah, like that. because you really have to dig it out. This one plant, the one plant can produce like this yeah. big or this much turmeric. Yes. So you need to dig it out. See here. Yeah. What a beauty. It goes and deep. And it goes down still. Yeah. You will see that. Try, just to give you an idea mm -hmm. and how, how they look. See? Mm -hmm. So that's like this yeah. big, yeah. deeper. Yeah. Now you see it's still there. there. Yeah. You will still make yeah. paint still more when you go a little farther. No? Yeah. So okay. when you plant them, make sure it's not beside other crops that would be disturbed. Unlike that. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Yeah. The time we planted the habanero there, we forgot all about the turmeric here. Yeah. It only grows <laughs> once a year. Yeah. yeah, because the turmeric in the beginning, you don't really see it too much. It's in the soil, you know? Yeah, it's in the soil it's and only it takes once. once a year. It only grows once a year, uh, yeah. according to our experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. It only grows once a year. So we forgot all about it. Yeah, because <laughs> there were no shoots coming out yet. Yeah. Yes. And suddenly, when we already have the habanero plant there, they suddenly yeah. They also started so, showing themselves. <laughs> word of advice is when you have turmeric, yeah. don't forget about them. <laughs> yeah. Right. So let's continue. No, where do we go next? Of course, we have bitter going there. Yeah. You yes, have to be careful. Hello, okay. Ma. Hello. Am I cleaning the. How are you doing there? Fine. I'm yeah. <laughs> doing okay. Yeah. So. We will continue showing you the effects of climate to your crops. Here we have broccoli. Yeah, they're doing well. They're standing up. They're not so old. They're quite new plants. Yeah, this is like but they'll grow fast. a month old Yeah, or not yet a month old. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But they're growing well. Eh? Because you see here time. also. We have your cauliflower. Cauliflower. You see, they're doing well. And here we have cabbage. These are new, newly planted ones. Newly planted. Uh, the, the same age as them. Mm. But, but a bit farther, we have the the previous. Here, here, the, the yeah, cabbage they, here. So look, look, see? see? Yes. <laughs> they the, the big ones. Yes. Those yes. are pure organic big cabbages. Cabbages, yes. see? But you're still waiting. They're not hard enough yet. But they're yeah. already well, you know, well developed, you know? Yeah. But we can still wait a little. We have really good climate mm -hmm. now. And here, of course, red cabbage. Red cabbage. It's really delicious. A bit farther, we have also the red cabbage there. Yeah, we're going to show you. Uh, they are a later, uh, an earlier uh, the, uh, the same bunch. time as the green cabbages there that are already... Look hot. at the lettuce. You see the lettuce also. Yeah. They are, <laughs> when it is hot, the lettuce would easily bolt. bolt. Yeah. But now they are, you see the... The red romaine, it's it's doing very well. You can it's see how nasty. shiny they are. Yeah. See? Oh yeah. See, wh when it's off season, when it's hot, it's summertime. What mm. happens to your crops or your your lettuces? Bolting. Just I'm just explaining bolting. Yeah. It's going to grow higher and higher, yeah. and the leaves yeah. will be far apart from each other. Yeah. It's most of the time they become bitter. Yeah, after some yeah, time, yeah. Some uh, once you're a little bit older. Also, yeah. the red rapid there, yeah, they're doing see. well. And yeah, they're becoming reddish. You see, when during summer, they don't even become yeah. When it's summer, reddish. they don't become red. Mm. We Only ate last night. One plant is, white, is quite big, and they're, they're not so old yet. Only one month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here, we have here fennel. Fennel, yes. Ah, they, they became a bit bigger already. Yeah, newly transplanted. We'll see, we'll we'll see what they will because do. Because it's cooler now and it's a bit wet now. And yeah. The, the, the final, but they will become bigger, no? Mm. Up to one, one meter now. more. Here is the red the red cabbage. Yeah. It does not yeah. become as big as the green no, cabbage. No, But it's already, you see, oh, they're doing well, eh? Look yep. at that. We'll, we'll give, we'll... The Mrs. Rice will be happy with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really nice to eat it raw. Oh yes, you can Just do. It. Chop it up. You don't need even to put anything on yeah. it. It and has a sweet taste. Yeah, and yeah. It, it does well with, with lettuce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here, of course. Yes, I'm yeah. coming. You look at the broccoli. They have nice big broccoli now. See, that's pure organic broccoli. Yes. 
There's another one there. I hope it can become see. really big. I know. Uh, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, and then and we, we have a lot there. there. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot there. Yes, there are several there, big ones. Mm -mm. All right. And then we have our beans that yeah. we saw, and the, the corn. So I still have to, <laughs> I still have to yes. harvesting it. And then we have another cabbage. Cabbage, and then here, that there's a combination of red and green cabbage. Or, or red, green cabbage, uh, and uh, weeds. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> I, I forgot to weed to those. Yes. Yeah, to weed. And here we have our kale. Yeah, the wonder plant. Yes, very nice. Oh, we, we make soup with it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. And, uh, and we have the uh, combination again of weeds and uh, <laughs> what do you call this uh, garlic. Garlic, yes. And uh, those we have pepper, we have peppers there. The, the, those are the two. The the I think we have to add some more seeds for the yeah. beans there. Yeah. I think they did not grow. And then we have the uh, the lilong. The local variety of spinach. Spinach. So and we have yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to plant here on this plot here. I'm going to plant jerkins. Yeah. Or the jerkins. pickling yeah. cucumbers. Yeah, which is very nice. Huh? But now we are taking care of weeds. <laughs> 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 All uh, right, so oh, that's oh. the crops. Those are the crops that we have here in our small demo farm. For the moment, yes. For the moment. And yeah. uh, after we harvest this we're going to plant different kinds and show you yeah. guys again yeah so uh top volume the care yeah to the next Dutch time or to the next time uh -uh. and uh see you guys in the next yeah. episode all, all right. right cauliflower you know i can eat a million and a half of days those must be comfortable shoes you know you can tell about a person by just looking at their shoes. Her feet hurt. <laughs>